Printing on 100% polyester fabrics has always been an elusive goal in direct-to-garment printing. The question is, can we do it successfully? The answer is yes, but there are expectations to manage and some things to keep in mind to successfully be able to do 100% polyester printing with your direct-to-garment printer. So let's take a look at how we can successfully print using our direct-to-garment printer, the Image Armor line of pretreatments, and the Viper pretreatment machines to do 100% polyester printing with DTG. To illustrate the impressive results we can get on white polyester fabrics, we're going to utilize the Image Armor Light Shirt Formula pretreatment and apply it to the fabric like you would a normal t-shirt and then heat set it. In our example, we're going to use a cover sheet so that we can spray just half of the shirt with pretreatment and the other half will remain untreated so we can see the difference in the final print. What we'll do is we'll lay our Sportec white polyester shirt out flat on our foam platen and take a piece of craft paper to lay down and create a barrier so that we're only going to spray the right side of the shirt and not the left side. Then we'll take the Viper Mini and just spray the shirt accordingly. Carefully remove the paper so that we don't get any pretreatment on the side of the shirt that is untreated and we'll go to the heat press. Taking a closer look at the results from our experiment with this side being untreated and this side pretreated with the Image Armor Light, we can see for sure that the black is definitely not nearly as defined or black. This is a true rich black in comparison to the untreated side. Down the middle we also see here that the blue is very much a more true accurate blue where over here on the untreated side, it is just not as crisp or sharp. We can also see for sure a difference between the reds, where it's a true deep red with sharp, crisp lines, and this over here where it's a little more muddy and not nearly as detailed. Now that we've had a look at how the Image Armor Light Shirt Formula can help your white polyester printing, let's take a look at the elusive black polyester shirt. Printing on black polyester fabric can be tricky, but it's not impossible. First, you'll need to find a good shirt. In our case, we're utilizing the Sportec ST340. It gives a great smooth finish and will hold the ink very well, which is what we're looking to do when we're DTG printing. For the pre-treating process, we really aren't going to change much in comparison to printing on 100% cotton shirts. What we are going to do though is bump up the pre-treatment amount slightly and probably apply between 25 and 30 grams of pre-treatment for a 14 by 14 inch square area. We just want to make sure that we don't use too much pressure during the heat press process. This will cause excessive marks that will be visible on the shirt and won't wash out, as well as physically change the appearance of the surface of the shirt. 
We want to minimize that as much as possible, which is why we'll use as little pressure as needed, but enough to be able to cure the pretreatment and dry it correctly. As far as printing is concerned, we really aren't going to do much of anything different. However, in the rip, we will want to up the white underbase as much as possible without overdoing it, and this will depend on how much ink that your rip will allow your printer to put down. We will also up the white highlights as necessary and maybe increase the vibrancy of the colors a little bit. We will need to compensate because polyester does tend to dull the colors down, especially when it is heat cured on a heat press or in a conveyor dryer. Now note, a conveyor dryer will cure the ink and it will also not allow the pressure of the heat press to mute out the colors. However, most people will be utilizing a heat press, so we will wanna make sure that we don't have too much pressure again to keep the colors more vibrant and also reduce the possibility of the heat press marks from the heat press during the curing of the ink. One thing to keep in mind is that when you are printing on polyester fabrics, you will experience dye migration. Dye migration happens when the shirt is heated up to a certain temperature. Typically, this is somewhere around 285 to 300 degrees. The dyes in the shirt will gas off and sublimate up through the white ink film on your print. Say on a red shirt, this will turn your white ink Pink. This is why it's extremely difficult to get great looking white prints on colored polyester fabrics. Black just happens to be an easier shirt to print with your direct garment on 100% polyester. You can experiment and play with different styles and brands of shirts as well as colors to try to find that which will work in your shop. In our example here, this is why we chose the Sportec ST340 style, because on the black shirt, we can still get incredible looking prints that stay white and will wash extremely well. Mm -hmm. 